tang for when you don't have any hip tang. So, another year closer. Over the next 12 days, I'll be examining specific moments in films that I think are interesting and effective. So, our first film. Will the gentleman be moving? Stationary. Will you go for a head shot or a chest shot? Based on the book of the same name, written by Frederick Forsyth, The Day of the Jackal is about an assassin tasked with killing Charles de Gaulle, the real-life president of France, up until four years before this movie was made. The moment I wanted to talk about is just after the film depicts the then-real-life, government-controlled, action group casually snatching someone from the street. The guy snatched, Valensky, is then interrogated. You're being very foolish, Victor. You know yourself, they always talk in the end. You've seen it with your own two eyes in, where was it? Indochina? The light in the face might have been done to death now, but what I think works very well in this scene is how normal everything is. The interrogation itself is brief. We see Walensky battered and bruised for a moment, but we never see anything very graphic and nothing done to him on screen. There's no high pressure music, there's no fast cutting or excessive camera movement. It's all restrained, just like the rest of the film, and it layers on the tension because with its restraint, it makes the sequence of events and the whole movie very believable. We're in the interrogation room for less than one minute, and I think the brevity of the scene and the way it's handled is fear inducing. These are the people trying to stop the assassin. How common is this? Tell us, Victor. Go back a bit. Tomorrow, track in. <laughs>